Hello everybody, we are StatTrack. My name is Sam Wallman. I was responsible for the data engineering, flask integration, as well as predictive model development of StatTrack. Sports viewership has become increasingly popular over the years. This has led to the increasing popularity of sports betting and fantasy sports leagues. This popularity has also increased the importance of player and team stats throughout major sports leagues. There are many ways to view sports game stats online. However, when it comes to predictions and data visualizations, the list gets very small. The goal of StatTrack is to combine simple and effective statistics, visualizations, and predictive models that will keep our users ahead of the curve as well as competition. Hi, my name is Andrew Cochran, and for the Capstone project, I worked on the uh, back end. So, using Python, I was able to do things like data wrangling, data cleaning, um, create the visualizations using matplotlib, and use sklearn for the linear regression model for both um, soccer and the NBA. Hi, I'm Dario Contreras, and I was responsible for the website implementation part of the project. To do this, I used a web framework called Flask. With Flask, I was able to combine the Python code and the HTML code we created and develop a fully functional and interactive website. Hi, my name is Aaron Illich, and uh, for the Capstone Project, I helped um, with the MBA data set. I did help with the web scraping, the data wrangling, as well as helping with the Flask portion of it. Hey, my name is Taylor Shu. I was responsible for designing and building the website. It had been a while since I'd done any web development in depth, but I tried to make the site user-friendly on web browsers, phones, and tablets. It was diffi definitely difficult for me to start building this site from scratch, but once I got started, everything came together. I used a color scheme that I thought looked good in relation to the sport theme. Along with the font and logo, I feel like it tied everything together. Okay, so now we are gonna do a quick demonstration of StatTrack. Here's our homepage with our mission statement. Welcome to StatTrack. Our goal with this website is to help create and display visualizations and predictions relating to both professional soccer and basketball. Now we're going to do a quick, a uh, couple quick demonstrations starting with soccer. So first we're going to compare Fulham versus Cardiff. As you'll see, we have some predictions and statistics that are given. Fulham scores an average of 1.16 goals at home. Fulham's opponents average goals. Uh, if that team is favored at home, when Fulham wins at home, their average goals as well as their opponents, and as well as when they lose, their average goals as well as their opponents. And then you'll see the prediction model that we have created has decided that Fulham is favored to win when they're playing against Cardiff. And you'll also see the linear regression model that we've created for home shots and away shots of the compared teams. And so now we are going to do another comparison of Manchester United versus Fulham. So same structure again. You'll see their average goals at home. The opponent's average goals when visiting Man United. Uh, it, show, it says Man United should be favored at home. Um, and, you know, the same structure for the rest of them, as well as our prediction model deciding that Man United is favored to win in that comparison, as well as the same structure uh, linear regression model for home shots and away shots of compared teams. So now we're going to go ahead and do a couple basketball ones. We're going to start off with Golden State versus Boston. And so for this, we've displayed all of the individual players as well as their points and then a couple different statistics that will be shot out when you compare these teams, such as the average number of points scored between the players is, and that would be 9.09, .09, and the highest points per game on Golden State Warriors is, as well as the individual that scored that. So for this instance, it would be Stephen Curry with 31.3 points per game. And our prediction model has decided that Boston is favored to win in this matchup. As well as the same thing with soccer, we've created a linear regression model and this is for the points specifically. And then here is the bar chart that we've created. 
and it just gives a different visualization of the individual players as well as their points. So now we're going to do one more comparison, and that's going to be Brooklyn versus Golden State. So as you'll see, it's the same format, this table right here with the individual players and their points. The average number of points scored between the players is the assistance it is 8.5, as well as the highest points per game. And for this instance, that would be Kevin Durant with 27.5 points per game. And you have our prediction model for the team that is favored to win, our linear regression model for points, as well as our bar chart. So the same format in every comparison, no matter what team it is. Now, this upcoming page was specifically implemented so that future users could have an understanding of what we would be bringing in the upcoming seasons um, in different sports that we might be adding. We've also added an about page, and this is just kind of to give users an understanding of the team, their contributions, and a little bit about ourselves.